Well, Trevor is supposed to be by tonight. That's his plan. So I'm gonna go push his car in uh, just before we get any rain or anything today. So she'll be dry so we can do some work on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the boy's gonna be by trying to wire up his dash and stuff in his truck, so tonight. So I'm gonna get Tre Trevor's car in. We'll get it up on the hoist here, uh, or at least in that stall so we can work on it while he can get his truck nosed in and do some work on it as well tonight. So let's get that thing moved. This thing rolls super nice, so that's kind of cool. So I'm not sure what tonight's plan is, but I know i got to come up with something for him just to make it easy for him to uh, daddle. I do like the idea some folks had was just deleting this line. <clears throat> I don't think it's a big deal. I think Trevor doesn't get it. Like, he thinks it's a lot of work. It's not really a lot of work to get rid of. It's literally just cutting it out and adding just some slivers of steel. So that'll get rid of that. But we might mess around with this belt line and get it started around the back. Uh, probably bash this thing straight. So I think that's what Trevor wanted to do was kind of work on the belt line. And I'm pretty sure that's a good, it's a good game plan to go with. We're going to try to pull the quarters out <clears throat> down on the bottom. But to do that, I think you can see how the quarter wraps around. And it's got the, whatever that would be, like the B pillar still into the body there. So we're going to cut that out which will make the quarter panels nice and floppy that we can uh, actually get them lined up and screwed together. So I'm not sure how far he'll get, but our my plan that I would be cool if we could get done and zapped in would be cut those off, get them out, get this trim piece going around the back, widen this up so it's lined up width-wise and everything. Uh, to which then we can kind of like just screw or just tack this panel on for now. And if we have time and we actually get that far, it'd be super cool to kind of get these windows sort of mocked up in there. You can see these kind of, they're rough, but we at least have them and it would give us the perfect curvature that we need. So that would be, that'd be ideal. I don't know how far he'll actually get. But I'm thinking I'll get my hands dirty in there and give them a hand tonight. Uh, seeing I have the day off, so I'm gonna go mess around with that thing for a while. Cool, well, till tonight, we'll figure something out. I'd like to get this back structure done before we actually try to uh, chop it or anything. I'd almost like to get that done and all the uh, get some floor bracing started just uh, so the body is technically sitting on the frame properly. That would be cool. Anyways, till tonight. Cutting away the excess post, wherever that is. That used to be the B pillar of this quarter, so that we can get these two floppy bits to match up a lot better.
Okie doke. So we cut these out. Now this body line is actually sitting flush here. And uh, the whole quarter panel kind of lines up now. So we got that. Now we're going to try to bang this and see if we can get this rear pan semi straight so that we can start doing the back body line. We'll kind of get that thing more uh, mocked up and tacked in. And then we can work on the roof, split that sucker and kind of get it in place. So Trevor's tacking all that up. What we did is we had to manipulate this back panel because it's originally from this Essex sedan and it was naturally had this big rounded curve from the back of the sedan. So we had to pull it straight. So temporarily we have stuff tacked in here. We're gonna cut this stuff out and put some bracing in after, but we wanna try to get things sorted out so this roof all works. So we have it here, we have it tacked in here, these lines we're just screwed over right now, but we're gonna trim these back after once we get the back panel and start working the uh, the rear window section into this thing. So this is sort of permanent slash temporary because we're gonna start, we'll cut through this and get rid of the excess stuff after the fact. But anyways, we're gonna get this all tacked in, then we're gonna slice up that roof and kind of get it loosely mocked up into there. The roof needs a cut. And if I remember right, we have to add an inch and a half on each side of the window. And then it should fit inside of here. We might be trimming this, I'm not sure. And then we'll kind of be scabbing the two all together there. Measuring up the sides to get the, the corner sections right side to side. We're hoping that everything's kind of symmetrical. We're going to try to keep them square. Once we got the sides in, we'll square up the back window and then we'll make some filler pieces to go around all that.
All right, so Trevor's got all this stuff all tacked in. So we got our back pillar has been widened. We've added the belt line. Now we're gonna be messing around with the corner windows. It's kind of the goal there. Uh, he is wanting a boat to this angle here, to that, well, that degree. That's about how big he wants the windows. So we're gonna proceed by cutting some of this out and kind of merging all of these bits together. And this one's pretty rough, so we're gonna to have to figure out this whole top line to this thing, but we'll first start with the bottom and then we'll kind of monkey with the top and get it all sorted out. Okay, so my GoPro messed up. I didn't get any of this, but I should for the other side. And Trevor, I got him set up. He should be able to try to give her a shot by himself on the other side for the most part. But we got the corner window in. Uh, what we did was we, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain and you're gonna see on the other side, but we uh, trimmed in the bottom section. There's a gap missing in the middle, but we're gonna make up for that when we do chop the car. But uh, that is the profile of the window that we're going for. Or at least that's, that's what Trevor wants. I'm cool with it. Looks cool. I'll say that last night that worked out really well. We got a lot done. It looks coopish now. Look at that. So Trevor did well. He's got uh, his corner windows are in. We got the back panels on that body line. Looks pretty good. We had to cut the hinge. Uh, the trunk hinge off. We're gonna make a sill panel, or I don't know what you wanna call it, but like a filler panel in the back here. And then it'll have a smaller trunk, but that's okay. It'll add some strength to the back of the panel when we cut out some of the stuff on the inside. So that'll be okay. But yeah, we pretty much got everything zapped in. Uh, everything's gonna get trimmed and cut out yet. That's kind of the plan. We're not sure. If we're keeping the line, or if he's going to do something, we don't know yet. Let him play with that. Let him ponder that idea. But, uh, yeah, it was accomplished. <clears throat> we had these filler pieces, so we opened it up. There's a gap in here, but when we chop the top, then these are going to meet up nicely after. So that was kind of the goal. I'd like to get the floor and stuff in the car, or at least some floor structure. So Trevor can sit on a seat. And then you can get a feel for how much he can or can't chop it. But, uh, yeah, at least we got this back panel in. We're going to continue probably really just roughing a lot of the car in. Uh, but we'll have to do a floor structure before we can pop some of this off. Some of this, we're going to need to build some inner structure along the top here yet. And uh, once that's done, then we can start to make a top. Just the, the side pieces. And then we can define some kind of a filler for the top after. But uh, yeah, once we pulled all that stuff out, these quarter panels lined up really nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think it looks good. From a pile of junk to, uh, well, it pretty much looks like a coupe. And you gotta think there's only about, I think we have three evenings in it, so it's not too bad right now. I kind of found an old grill shell, so I threw that up on the front, just tacked it in. Get an overall feel. We're thinking we're just gonna go small block for now. Uh, eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this firewall out. We're gonna flip it just to make lots of room. So like I say, for now we're gonna small block it, but if he wants to do a different motor down the road, then we at least leave a lot of opening options to do something different. But anyways, as always guys, thanks for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.
How's it going, pup? 